So at the time of this video recording, Microsoft um, have just fairly recently released Microsoft Forms Pro. It's in preview mode. So anything in preview mode um, still potentially could change later on. Um, we, people that are trying it out can give feedback. Those changes um, can be implemented based on the feedback and so on. So in order to go ahead and get this set up, we're going to go to formspro.microsoft.com so we can see some screenshots, some information and what we've got is the ability to go ahead and try out this preview. Now if you've already used Microsoft Forms and we, you set up the preview then what we're going to get is um, is any of those forms we've cr previously created they will be um, brought over for us. So we'll go ahead we put in our email address uh, we've already got an account so that's fine we're just going to go ahead and sign in using that account that already exists. Um, so we're going to go through the, the initial setup, um, then once you get to the point where we've got it, we can invite other people in the organisation. I'm just going to skip that for this um, purpose, we don't need to do that right now, so we can invite more people. Then what's going to happen as we get through, it's going to finish off setting it up. It's going to be doing some things in the background um, for us. That's great. Um, and we're going to get to the point where it's going to let us know that we need to refresh after some time. So what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and leave it for now and we'll come back to it once it's actually finished provisioning and everything is set up. Okay, so everything's set up now. So what we're seeing here on the landing page is my, my forms area. Now, if you've used Microsoft Forms prior to enabling the preview for Pro, you'll see any of those forms will be, will be migrated over as well. We've also got a sample survey that's been set up. Um, we've got options for a new survey, which is what we'll focus on this video, and then also a quiz as well. We've also got a section for any forms that have been shared with you and then also any group forms as well. So we'll go back and create a survey. So the first thing we're going to do is where it says untitled survey, we're just going to click on that and we're going to give the survey a name. So we'll do this as the customer support survey. You'll notice that we can make things bold. We can also change the font if we want to as well and the font size. But at the minute, that's about all that we can change. We're also going to put in a description, so please let us know about your recent interaction with our support team. What you'll also see is that there is a um, a link here or a button for inserting an image. Now if I go ahead and click on that, we can either browse out and search online, we can use OneDrive or we can upload. I'm going to go ahead and just put in an image. We'll just pretend that this is a company logo. So if I now look at the preview of this, we'll see this is where it displays over on the left and it's basically kind of where a logo would go. So at the minute, I don't know if there's a way to um, to change this, to move it around to the centre, to the right and so on. There might be, might be a way that I find out later on. I'm just starting to dig into this right now. So um, what we're going to look at now before we get into any questions is you can also set a theme. So I can use some preset colours that are already there. I can also use a background that also has a set colour scheme to it as well. Or I can set my own image and also my own colour as well. So if I'm setting my own colour, I need to know the hex number for that as well. One thing to keep in mind, let me go back and actually pick one of the images. One thing to keep in mind is that the image shows either side of the um, of the form of the of the survey or the quiz or whatever. Um, also, if I look at mobile, it's not showing that either. So just keep that in mind if you're wanting to use your own background image, how it will be displayed. Okay, so now we've done that, let's go ahead and start asking some questions. So we can see that there are seven different types of questions. The first one that I'm going to look at is we'll do a choice. So this one, you could do multiple choice. Um, I'm just going to go with two options, but you can see here we would add other options for as many that you needed. This one will go with, uh, you recently had a support case that was resolved. Are you happy with the resolution? And we'll go with yes and no. Now, if this was um, 
uh, a lot of options we wanted someone to be able to pick from a couple if we change it to multiple answers it will turn those into checkboxes um, if we just have uh, it, you can only have one then it's a radio button what we can also do is we can make this required visible so if, or not if you want to do a hidden field um, and then we have the option to do a subtitle shuffle those options or do it as a drop down instead of the radio buttons or the checkboxes so let's add another question and this time we'll do a rating so please rate the support rep who assisted you so we can do a number of um, levels so I can say right I actually want 10 stars or I could change that to a number and again make it required visible set a subtitle um, or also a label for the end of the um, range to the top of the range so I might say um, very poor exceptional so from one end of that scale to the other next I'm going to look at something that I would call a matrix but in here it's called a like it or a l not really sure I think that's how you pronounce it um, so with this one I might say um, please rate each area as it relates to this case so my statements might be the case was handled quickly the case was resolved efficiently um, the rep was professional that kind of thing and then with my options I might say um, strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and strongly agree okay and then finally let's look at the net promoter score so this one the question is a fairly standard question if you use net promoter score within your organization it's a, a way in which your customers can can rate you and basically say are they happy with with you at the moment so chances are you've answered a, a question like this on a survey yourself um, it's very very standard um, something that's sent out so you're not likely to need to change the question um, and then also the responses is, is is from a zero to a ten that's how the net promoter score works so we can see here we've got all our questions on here now what we can do and this this will save automatically so there's no save button that's needed you can do another preview so you can have a look and see how it's going to be displayed on the mobile or on a computer and then I want to send out the survey now there's a lot of options we're going to go through these in other videos um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on link and I would get the link copy that and then paste it into the browser and from here I can go ahead and answer the question so you recently had a support case yes I'm happy with the resolution the rep was awesome uh, yes it was handled quickly it was efficient um, and yes the rep was very professional am I likely to recommend we'll go with a nine that makes us a promoter I'm very happy and we'll go ahead and submit that now this is a survey because we're using a link um, it's not personalized in any way so it's completely anonymous um, unless we obviously ask for names and email addresses and so on um, I can go ahead and submit another response now what we'll do is we'll go back to the home page we can see there I've got one response immediately let's look at one that's got a lot more responses just so you can kind of see what um, is is on offer in terms of a review so I've had 529 invitations that have been sent if I click on that we can see the details of the invitations things that were sent either things that were responded to failed unsubscribes that sort of thing um, we'll give it a minute but hopefully that will show us um, some details uh, let's go back to the responses and see if this will load a little bit faster okay so now we can see we've got the average completion time we've got a response ratio response trend and we've got the net promoter score giving us um, the breakdown of promoters detractors and passives okay if we scroll down we've also got a section for latest insights so 
If we have a look and drill down further, we can see based on the questions, it's gathered information for us and, and is showing us some valuable insights, um, some sentiment analysis as well. So we can see um, how overall, how positive the feedback is, and then also negative feedback, which words were used um, based on it, knowing that it's negative. Then if we look at the insights here, we can scroll through and look at that information as well in this way too. So overall, out of the box, it's giving us some, some valuable information, some valuable insights. Um, we can also look at the question responses as well. And we can see again more information about each individual question. So, so far, just to set up and send a basic survey using the survey link, we can gather some valuable responses. Um, so let us know in the comments below, what do you think out of the box, just kind of getting started? What are your thoughts on Forms Pro?